Hello, happy Tuesday, December the 3rd. All right. Hey, just wanted to um, challenge you to do something else today. Not a challenge, challenge. You know, um, just want to put this out here. You know how you have your random acts of kindness? How about your random acts of forgiveness? Examples are like if you are driving and somebody has road rage they pull over in front of you <laughs> you got to jam in on your brakes in the rain how about just saying okay i forgive you they in a hurry too i forgive you you're in the grocery store you've been standing in line for about 10 hours not 10 hours maybe 10 minutes and somebody else walk up there in front of you like they don't see you and you're like, I know they see me standing here, been standing here. How about saying, hey, go ahead on by all means. Or don't say nothing at all. Let them make it. Random act of forgiveness. How about you at your job? And somebody is stressing you out. Or you say, okay, I'm tired of them. I need to go on and talk to the supervisor. Nah, let them make it. They probably stressed out at their house, going through some stuff. Random acts of forgiveness. And I thought it was very important because we can have random acts of kindness. That's easy to do. You know, you can be at the gas station and say, oh, I'm going to give you some gas, grocery store, get you some groceries. How you doing? A smile. But that forgiveness thing, woo, that's a hard one there because if somebody done, you know, done something to offend you, that's harder than the kindness thing. So how about random acts of forgiveness? And um, I just think that that's a beautiful thing to do. And I'm. I thought about it because I'm doing it myself, you know, and, um, hey, I just think it's a good thing to do. Random acts of forgiveness. Um, every day I'm going to try to get on here and, and come up with a challenge, not a so-called challenge challenge, but just something that, you know, something that will be for the betterment for everybody, you know. We all need some good things to happen in our lives these days. So I, I'm going to try to get on here every day and come up with something that I think um, will be beneficial. All right, you guys. And one more thing I wanted to talk to y'all about. Now, my mom is always fussing at me because I have my leftovers. And when I have my leftover food, we eat them for like seven days. So we go by the rule of Sunday to Sunday. So you know how we still got our Thanksgiving foods and stuff? My mom was telling me, um, she was like, hey, be very, very, very careful because some of that food can, you know, spoil. And I was like, well, mama, I'll be keeping my food up in here for seven days. You know, we still be eating off of it. And this is the crazy thing. Um, it was just on my mind because we, we always do that. Whatever we have in our household over here, whatever day we cook it on, we good to the next week. And then we know to go ahead on and, you know, put it in the freezer or whatever. And um, the Lord just came to me today and he was like, be careful, especially with turkey, because turkey is not like chicken. Like chicken, you can put that up in your refrigerator, you know, for days, you know, at least five, six days and still eat a, you know, a chicken breast or a chicken casserole or a chicken salad. But that turkey is a whole different thing. That turkey spoils. And I promise you, when my mama was talking to me about it. I was like, that is so weird because she's right. It just kept coming to my mind like, uh-uh. So if you have turkey that you're still eating off of from your Thanksgiving meal, like you eating leftover turkey, like I'm still going up in there and, you know, got some pieces left. And then some of it, we made a turkey salad out of it. You know, like a chicken salad, but a turkey salad. We doing all that, but just be careful because after about five days, uh, especially today, being a Tuesday, uh, turkey uh, tends to spoil quicker than um, chicken will. Even though it's poultry, it's a different kind of poultry. So, if you got that turkey still up in there, uh, and I don't recommend freezing it either because when I froze some turkey before, when I pulled it out, it just tastes horrible. And I'm good at freezing stuff. Like, whatever we don't eat in two or three days or so, I may put it on up in the, you know, freezer so we can pull it out later on, like spaghetti or, you know, just whatever, anything that's freezable. But some about that turkey, when you freeze that and pull that out, it just seemed like it tastes um, unsavory. 
So if you still have turkey products that you're eating off of in your refrigerator, go ahead on and eat those uh, today. And if not, you know, you're going to have to dispose of them. And I'm not an advocate of throwing any food away, but don't get sick off of it. Because I'm telling you, that, that turkey, I don't know what it is about it, but it does spoil. All right, that's the public service announcement for today. All right, you guys. Well, uh, random acts of forgiveness is the topic of today. And hope you all are having a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day today. And stay blessed. And like I always say, don't waste a second a minute or an hour of your day without telling God that you love him and your family too. Be blessed.